What's the least power you've ever seen go to someone's head? When I was a kid, there was a game that I would play with a couple friends where one of them pretended to be able to host the minds of these alien people that would send us on adventures. We became agents of this intergalactic space league of sorts, and he would reward our efforts with fake money that he drew and would bring little toys for us to buy with the fake money that he made up powers for, making them useful tools for our missions. It was a lot of fun, at first. He attempted to use the power of his fake alter ego to boss us around outside of the game. Our other friend kept playing along, sucking up in order to be rewarded with fake money for our fake game. But it wasn't fun for me to just do whatever this kid said so I said no. He started subtracting fake dollars from my account, and soon I was deeply negative. I'm lucky the alien debt collectors aren't coming after me. I stopped playing the game after that. Hand someone a megaphone. Try to take it away from them. Everyone I've ever seen with a megaphone goes mad with the power of a loud voice. I've never had the gall to use a megaphone. Hearing my own voice makes me cringe so hearing it 10x louder doesn't help. I used to ride the city bus home from high school. There was this one bus driver who really let his minuscule amount of power get to his head. The city I live in has fair zones for public transit. Basically, if your bus ride crosses a municipal boundary, you need to pay for a two zone fare. This was back in the day before fare cards could charge your account automatically, so you had to pay for the amount of zones you would be traveling as you entered the bus. So this dickhead bus driver would stop just after the zone boundary and do a sweep of the bus checking that people had paid for two zones. He would kick off anybody that had only paid for one zone. This one time, an ancient old lady had gotten on the bus and only paid for one zone. I honestly believe this old woman had no idea she had to pay extra to get where she was going. I doubt she even understood the multi-zone system, as she spoke very little English. When Mr. Douchebag bus driver checked her ticket and saw she only paid for one zone, he forcefully ejected her from the bus. When several people offered to pay for her two-zone fare, he said it was illegal to pay other people's fares and drove away without her. This same guy would see people running to catch his bus, wait until they got close then close the door and refuse to open it, even if he was ahead of schedule. Frick that guy. I don't know much about the legalities of driving a bus and what you can and can't do, but I feel like you could at least report him for being overly rude or something, or kill him idk. When I was in the army, a young guy in my unit got promoted to E4, the highest of the zero authority ranks, and suddenly started trying to give orders to other privates, like trying to do uniform inspections and ordering them to pick up trash. Once after a company meeting, our CO dismissed everyone, and this guy immediately yells out all E3 and below stay in formation. This was met with frick you and go frick yourself and eat a dong, the company first sergeant pulled him aside and gave him a counseling on how to not get your butt beat. Counseling on wall to wall counseling avoidance then, preventative counseling. They gave a crossing guard a remote control for the traffic light near the school. He would intentionally make you wait for several minutes when there is no cross traffic and no students. Like he was there an hour early and lay just being and but. There is a state rep in that neighborhood and I guess that he was p off or tipped off. They took away his remote and gave him a stop sign. Also he had no chair. A guy I used to work with was made a manger. Not a people manager, but a manager of processes. The same day he received this promotion he came to my desk and asked me to tell him everything about my job, who I am, etc. I was busy so I said, if you have questions, maybe we can book a meeting, and you can let me know why you need all this info. He said, look I'm a manager now, okay, I'll ask and you'll answer. I said, I'm also a manager, and you're talking out your butt. He lasted 5 months after his promotion and quit because his half million dollar project proposal was shot down over a request for better information. He was universally hated, but sucked up to his managers like a little sycophantic bee. My greatest satisfaction was when his boss and I had an impromptu lunch meeting, and he came in groveling, asking if he could go grab lunch for his boss and I made him take my lunch order too. His barely controlled indignity was glorious. He was universally hated, but sucked up to his managers like a little sycophantic bee. I've noticed that people tend to treat those in power the same way they expect to be treated when they get power. My aunt once put my younger cousin in charge of us kids while she ran a quick errand. 
my cousin proceeded to make us clean their house so she could show her mom how responsible she was. When we were done she graciously allowed us to play a game. We played hide and seek. While she was counting, we made a mess just as her mom got home. So devious. I love it. Facebook Messenger introduced admins to group chats. Initially everyone was an admin but one of my friends removed everyone as admin and is now the sole admin of the chat. He decides who gets added and who gets removed. You literally can't say anything bad to him or you get a 24 hour ban from the chat. I've thought about a revolution but it's hard to get everyone to go along with it. He even changed his nickname in the group to group leader and will kick anyone who tries to change it. Sounds like a prick. A boy in my class obtained the teacher's permission to use a bathroom. On his way he got into an argument with another boy, and used this to prove his point. His exact words, oh, yeah, well, I'm allowed to go to the toilet perhaps surprisingly, his opponent did not immediately concede the point. This must have been at uni, these political science debates are getting really out of hand. Class president. Being class president at my school gave you no power in any way, just a title you won in a popularity contest. This one kid got elected and then thought he was king of the world and started bossing people around. Class presidents run on dumb things they can't control like shorter days and better food in the cafeteria, more money for activities and choice over curriculum. Then months later their accomplishment is picking between three predesignated themes the adults chose for the formal dance. Getting chosen to be class monitor. Basically the duties of a class monitor involved writing the names of those who talked while the teacher wasn't around, and distributing papers to the class. I was class monitor for a particular class for a semester because I had just topped the class with a 100 in that particular subject. If anyone even whispered to borrow a pencil or something, I put their name down lol. I was 8 and a little crazy. I did this too in second grade. At one point I even confused on girl for another and put a girl's name down who never did anything wrong. I refuse to admit I could have been mistaken. Any one of the fussy old people on my hoe board. No one cares if the neighbor's shed doesn't match their house Karen. It's in the backyard. Jeez. I work in a very affluent area. The bad behavior from some of these people towards service workers is astounding. It's typically your stay at home parent being the bad offender. It isn't uncommon to go to the grocery store at lunch and witness a customer berating an employee for something dumb. The most outrageous was the woman who was screaming and rammed her cart at an employee because they were going to start selling rabbit meat. I have a rabbit this is unacceptable her cart was full of other meat. There was also the time the person had a fit the employee didn't offer to bring her bags to her car. She had one bag. I think it is they spend their days with no power so when they can finally show a bit of it they go nuts. A man just stood in the checkout area one day with his items on a belt of a clothes lane and was yelling over and over come here come here about 20 times. That is crazy. Never hear about the dark underbelly of rich people land. Marching band drum majors. We had a chant. What time is it IT's power trip time even our band director laughed at it a few times because the drum majors were power tripping so goddamn hard. I'm a hostess at a fancy Italian restaurant with quite a few regular customers coming in 3-4 times a week. One Saturday, we had 3 big parties all around the same time. They were all regular customers and each party requested a specific table to be sat at. We have 4 big tables total and 3 of them were already requested. When a big party that was a walk and requested a certain table that was already reserved, and they didn't have a reservation, I had to politely tell them I couldn't sit them at that specific table but I did indeed have a table for them and I could get them seated right away. Lady wasn't having it. What do you mean I can't have that table? I'm a paying customer. Mom another party that has reservations already specifically requested that table. But we can still get you seated. But I want that table. I'm sorry mom but we have to honor our reservations. She then smirked and said. You must be new here right? Do you even know who I am? To be honest I had no idea who she was. But I knew what she was trying to do. She was trying to make it seem like she was a regular customer so she could get her way. May I add I have been working in this restaurant since the day it opened so I was not a new employee. And I knew who the regulars were. And she was not one of them. So I said. No mom. What's your name? She told me her name and I looked it up in our guest book. 
According to her profile she was a brand new customer and has never done business with us. I said, I see you've never dined with us before. I'll make sure your experience is special. Caught that bee in her lie, she sucked it up and sat at the table I sat her at. After I passed out the menus she said to me, you know, I am good friends with your owners. And after what I have experienced here, I'm going to get you fired. I said, oh, you know my boyfriend's family? She just shut up and I never saw her again. Reminds me of the time this customer came in, made a stupidly ridiculous order, medium rare, but I don't wanna see a single drop of blood. When I brought it, it was overdone and berated me, saying he knew the owner and wanted to speak to her. I just sighed, walked 5 feet away from his table, and shouted through to the kitchen mom. A customer says he knows you and wants to speak to you. At my last job, retail, my manager bullied me a lot. I'm not sure why, but I found out she did that to one other girl but was nice to everyone else. Anyway, I overheard her talking to customers about how she took a risk by hiring me because I'm her daughter's age. Mind you, I did a very good job at work according to other managers. But like she's a 40 year old woman working at a clothing store and she shouldn't be taking herself so seriously. When you're in a dead end job and have limited means to better yourself, some people take any power they can and hold it tight. This usually manifests in managers who are managers because they outlasted everyone else over years, not due to any real management ability. Had a sweet co-worker I always got along well with become a raging tyrant once she was promoted to supervisor. So many complaints were made against her that she quit. Quit or quit. SPC in the army. Two guys come into the army at the same time. One of them has come in with a college degree, so he starts out as a SPC, which is more or less a glorified private, and promotion to that rank is more or less automatic within your first two years. The other is a PFC, one rank below. After going to basic and eight together, they wind up at the same unit. One day, they are both at the motor pool, shooting the crap. When the SPC makes a claim about how he won some sort of swimming statewide championship in high school, the PFC, sensing BS, asks him what his time was for a particular event. The guy names a time, which is significantly faster than the current world record, and is called out on his obvious nonsense by the PFC. The SPC gets mad that everyone is laughing at him, and demands you need to stand at parade rest when you are talking to me private the PFC just laughs at him and walks away. The SPC is incensed that his authority wasn't respected, he actually goes to the company commander to complain about it. Oh my god. Ticket checking people on public transportation. I don't know how it works around the world, but we have a system here that feels like it's pretty stupid. You have this plastic tickets you can charge with money and when you get on the bus, you place it on a reader and it deducts the cost of one ride off it. You can also just not have your card read and try your luck riding for free. The ticket checking people, controllers, sometimes barge into the bus on certain stops and they're not even authorized personnel employed by the public transportation. They work for some third company which sends people barging into buses with their ticket readers and then sends the data to the public transportation company so it can use it for whatever. Anyway, these dang people are human cockroaches. Sincerely, you can't even say oh, they're just doing their jobs because they take such perverted glee from harassing people they catch without tickets. I've seen these controllers insult people, attempt to search people's bags for their personal IDs, threaten an elderly lady, who honestly seemed senile enough to not even realize she was riding a bus, by snapping a picture of her with their phone and telling her they'll send it to the police, physically try to manhandle people they find without ticket off the bus. Stop entire buses from leaving the bus stop until the person who hasn't got a ticket gave them their 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 the kicker. These people are not authorized to do any of this. They're not the police. They're not any kind of state official. They're civilians who work for a private company who has this weird agreement with the public transportation to send them data. It's completely within your legal rights to tell them you didn't read your card and refuse to give them your id so they can't write a ticket. But the way they act you'd think they are some holy warriors sent from the heavens to fight the evils of unpaid bus tickets. I pay for my rides because I'm a responsible person. 
but I like to frick with them sometimes by telling them I had my ticket read but I refuse to give it to them. I waste their time until they start insisting I get off the bus. Then I give them the ticket and enjoy seeing their faces fall as they realize I did pay for my ride and who knows how many people fled the bus while they were screwing around with me. Up yours. Ticket checking buttholes. I feel like we live in the same country. Although I'm not quite sure if the ticket checkers over here are authorized or not. Hum. Also I haven't seen any of them catch anyone with a ticket. Myself. It was the early 2000s and collectible cards were the crap in primary school. Eventually we made a point system in order to give value to all the games we played. UGR, Pokemon, Beyblade, maybe Domin, or whatever the name was, don't remember. More traditional games too, I suppose. I then had the idea of making those points retrievable for items in a house drawn on paper. I was the kid that was good at drawing, so I managed everything. It was like Club Penguin and The Sims. Overall, I became a corrupt overlord. I was like giving people points under the table for favors. I had the dopest house ever even though I was too busy to play regularly. I snapped points away from the kids I didn't like. I was a tyrant. Years later, remembering that makes me aware that I can be a dong if I don't keep myself in check. The security at my local mall. I live in a small town in West Texas, and our mall is like 50 stores at the most. There are about 7-8 security guards there, and all but one of them thinks they are the sheepdog uber warriors that protects the flock from the eternal darkness that is occasional petty theft. Almost all of them are severely overweight or malnourished, and nearly illiterate. They have serious authority issues, without having any real authority. I've been yelled at for sitting at a food court table without buying food. When I refused to get up, he put his hand on his holster. They don't carry guns, it was his cell phone, and spittled into his radio for immediate strike team backup. They are just absolute whack jobs who will call each other names like Reaper and Delta over their little walkie talkies. The one who isn't a total freak is a chill guy in his 50s who's covered in tattoos. He's super chill about everything, and will ask if you need help if you seem lost or you're carrying a lot. Everyone loves talking to him, but the rest just glare in sullen silence at the crowds they think they're protecting. So what you're saying is Paul Blart is more of an expose. In my 7th grade social studies class, we had a classroom game of SimCity going where we were using to teach basic government information. We elected a group of like 6 of us who were to act as different roles to help lead our game and we played pretty much 20 minutes every class for an entire quarter. Now, the six of us officials had developed a careful plan based around hard industrial expansion, but the rest of the class voted and disagreed with our plan, so we disregarded the vote and started ruling the game with an iron fist, to the point where we stopped playing the game as a class experiment and it became the six of us playing the game during our lunch breaks, which happened to be in the middle of this class. The teacher had been using this game as a way to have a self-led class while he assisted another teacher, and when he figured out what we did he called in a massive plague of disasters on our charming little city. Ever joined in Hoa? My neighborhood flooded with 6 feet of water during Harvey last year. Many of the people who own homes here are currently dealing with a very difficult and very expensive problem. And thank goodness we have the homeowners association to find people for not adequately maintaining the landscaping or for failing to replace their broken shutters in a timely manner. Priorities. Team led in a department with like 8-9 other team leads. He decided to take it upon himself to make sure employees on other teams were always perfectly behaved. Tried to get the girl next to me in trouble with our supervisor for being on her phone, without knowing whether or not she was on a break, and without looking at her daily stats to see if she was slacking. She was always a high performer for stats, so my team led basically told him to frick off and worry about his own agents. He suddenly felt entitled to eat other people's food without asking permission. He'd just take stuff. He also meddled in my friend's divorce. Friend's wife let team led sign into her email and send a message to friend pretending to be her. That's a long butt story but it still didn't get him fired. What got him fired? Me telling a friend who was very aware of all the drama that he stole my team lead slice of friend's birthday cake without asking. Took a bite. Said it tasted like crap. 
trying to insult her because it was for friend's birthday. It was in his tone expression, and threw it in the garbage. She came over, asked me to repeat myself, confirmed for herself there was a piece of friend's birthday cake in the trash with a single bite missing, excuses herself to go to her office, and before I knew it he was demoted to a regular agent and taking calls from the inbound call queue. He quit within like a week. The feeling of revenge was sweeter than that cake. The church custodian got a new, high power vacuum cleaner, something he'd been asking for a long time. For him, getting that high power, noisy vacuum was the holy grail of his sextant duties. Every time during weekdays that someone would enter the church to pray or practice the organ, he'd turn it on and drive them crazy with its overpowering sound, for which he took obvious diabolical pleasure. Ropes, especially red ropes, back in tech school in the Air Force. 18 and 19 year old kids with the littlest of power thought they were gods, then when they left tech school and got to their first real duty assignment, they walked in like they were the crap and pretty much instantly learned how the real military worked, as in co, when I cross trained I ended up in a class with an abred rope, I still remember that little crap thought he was in charge of me one day, pretty sure he's still never been lit up the way I lit him up that day, lol. Haha, <laughs> I had totally forgotten about ropes. Even some of the black ropes even got that way sometimes. Grocery store managers. They were either too stubborn to find another job or too stupid to make the cut anywhere else. At least, it seems that way. Because the two that I have dealt with at separate stores were petty, bitter human beings who had become so jaded with life that their job was their only pleasure. Shift manager at Starbucks. Walked in my first day. The first minute, had never met anyone yet, and she asks me super condescendingly if I'm wearing perfume, doesn't believe that it's just soap from my shower, and proceeds to lecture me on wearing perfume, in front of everyone. On my first minute on the job, I look young, but I'm at least twice her age, have allergies to perfume, and didn't need the job bad enough to put up with petty BS for $9 an hour. I quit when they were horribly short staffed. Treat people better you get better outcomes. Most of those buttons for crosswalks don't do anything. The ones in one spot on my college campus did something. You'd hit the button and the green would turn to yellow immediately and then to red. The traffic on that road was light so most people would just walk across. Cars would slow down and then drive through. Or else the pedestrian would wait a beat and go after the car. Not me. I hit it no matter what. Still not sure why I chose to make one car wait 90 seconds so I could cross as I pleased, which took 5 seconds. You did it because you could, you power tripping bastard. I remember one time it was mandatory that we work Saturdays. Our boss doesn't like to give bad news to anyone so had his assistant create the Saturday work list. He had a large board and was quietly taunting and intimidating everyone. I've never seen anything like it. Our expect edifice. My bearded dragon. One day he is lazy as can be. Next day when my old girl died he quickly went up the ceramic tree she slept in and refuses to come down other than for food. Keeps kicking the bigger female out the tree and she now lives in the dark corner and leaves it to eat and poop. Lizards are weird. My freshman year. We read Lord of the Flies. To really drive the point home of how quickly things can devolve into chaos in a group of unsupervised, crappy kids. My teacher decided she would let us alone so we could experience it. We walked into the class not knowing that this was happening. We all sat at our seats and waited for class to start while she basically ignored us. After a few minutes, she walked to the board and wrote the activity and how long we had. I think it was an hour. We had a double period which ended up being 1.5 hours if I remember correctly. We thought it was kind of interesting and figured we were getting a free period. We descended into chaos. We created a government, decided how our island would be run. The government dissolved into a monarchy. The monarchy and their subjects got into fights. We kicked people out of the classroom. They would come back and we'd force them off the island. When the people we kicked off reminded us we weren't on an island, we began to create an island out of desks and chairs. All while our teacher was sitting at her desk watching us. We honestly forgot she was there. Eventually she shut the experiment down when we started stacking desks to create a fort and other students were getting upset. As far as I remember, she never repeated the activity again after our class. I miss her. She was the best teacher I've ever had. 
I worked at a busy and popular sandwich shop Greasy Spoon when I was a teenager. We had to memorize something like 80 sandwich combinations by number and it was a pretty fun job. They had one position there at the head of the line where a guy would do nothing but toast bread and pass the toast and order slip down to his right. One day one of the end of line guys was moved to the toast position and he assumed it meant that he was a manager or at least in charge of the rest of us. He began calling out orders like a chef. Getting in our faces for perceived slowness, dictating when we could take breaks, etc. He became so bad that at least one person walked out. Toast guy was finally put in his place by a regular customer, an old man who came in every Sunday and read a newspaper for 2 hours and ate the same sandwich. Triple decker Reuben on wheat toast with 3 hard boiled eggs on top. Side of cottage cheese. At the height of toast guy's menu one busy Sunday, the old man simply got up, walked around behind the line, gently took toast from toast guy's hands, then gently turned him towards the toasters. The old man said watch me, no talking or yelling, and pulled an order slip. He pointed at the slip and calmly said, order in. Three slices white, look, it goes into the toaster like so. Next order, six slices marble dry. I put it in the toaster, I pass the white toast to my right. I keep my mouth shut, marbled rice ready, I pass it over to my right. I keep my mouth shut. Can you do this without embarrassing yourself then he just looked at toast guy for a beat and nodded. Waved at the rest of us while he turned, went back to his seat, and kept an eye on the toast guy for the rest of the shift. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.